Hi, my name is Lee Bryant, and we will be discussing emergent, emergent technologies today. Introduction. Today we will review and discuss a very important leading edge technology. This case study will focus on solid state batteries. The purpose of this, state, this case study is to provide an overview of the technology benefits, challenges, applications, other competing technologies, and their anticipated future. Once this technology is, quote, mass adopted, it, it could potentially eliminate or reduce our dependency on fossil and biofuels and provide a reliable and endless supply of energy for electric vehicles, mobile devices, and etc. Solid state battery benefits. Solid state batteries are still based on lithium ion technology, but they, re but they replace the liquid electrolyte with a thin layer of material that's not flammable. Solid state batteries are also resilient. Some prototypes demonstrated by other groups can survive thousands of charges and discharge cycles, and they can withstand high temperatures which would make it possible to use materials that can double or triple a battery's energy density, which an important of ener energy density is th that is the amount of energy stored in a given volume, which would determine, of course, the, uh, uh, the distance that a vehicle can travel. But that, but that are too dangerous or unreliable for use in conventional lithium ion battery. The benefits are enormous. By cutting the size of a battery system in half, it could cost it cut it cuts its cost by as much as half. Also, since the battery system is the most expensive part of an electric car, often costing as much as ten thousand dollars, that would make electric vehicles far cheaper. Alternatively, manufacturers could keep the price constant and double the one hundred mile range typical for elect for electric cars. What are some of the challenges and applications of solid-state batteries? Challenges. Design and develop a thin layer of non-flammable material to replace the liquid electrolyte. Also, we must be able to design the battery to survive thousands of charge-discharge cycles. Third, we must be able to design the battery to withstand high temperatures, which will make it possible to use materials that can double or triple a battery's energy density, thereby allowing vehicles to travel greater distances. What are the applications of solid state batteries? Applications. They can be utilized in electric vehicles, used in mass transportation vehicles like buses or even possibly trains one day. They can be used in laptops, mobile devices, and various battery operated devices or equipment are just some of the applications. Now let's take a look at some of the solid state batteries competing technologies. The first on the list of competing technology which is, has been on the market for quite a while but also it is still developing is hydrogen fuel cells or is one of the uh, lead one of the top competing technologies. In addition to another leading edge technology that's being developed is solar cells or solar batteries which can be specifically can be used uh, possibly as a uh, replacement for lithium batteries as well. So we have two of the top ma the major ones is hydrogen fuel cells and solar cell batteries. What is the future for, for solid state batteries? Solid state batteries. The future of solid state batteries will depend on the manufacturer's ability to, to create a thin layer of non flammable material to replace the, li the liquid electrolyte found in today's lithium batteries. And of course, it must be able to, tr to uh, survive thousands of discharge charge cycles. Uh, we're looking at the plateau of productivity. You're looking at another five to ten years away before it'll be really available to the uh, for mass adoption, but it is very possible at this time. Well, that concludes our case study today, emergent technology, and we looked at solid state batteries. 
Also on the last page of my presentation is uh, sort of like a look into the future of solid state batteries, a diagram I developed. And if we were able to integrate that with wireless energy transfer, uh, we would have a uh, we would have a uh, we would be able to create an endless supply of wireless energy charging these batteries and devices. Thank you very much. Have a great day. That concludes our case study for today.